Oh, I gotta revive, I gotta revive. Okay, we're good. Revive. Drops for revive. There we go, it's dead. Give me I a book. A oh, I, I got a hat! Pog! Pog! Does that mean Jared's not quitting now? Uh, I'm not quitting anymore, <laughs> baby. Oh, he's gone, dude. Hello, gamers. Snace here, and I've got another short video today. After this, it'll probably be a bit before you see another video from me, or at least another progression redux video, as I haven't been recording much, and making progress is rather slow, at least on the Thunderbreaker. In the current clip, I managed to successfully start my Arcane Cape to 20 stars, which was, you know, a nice gain. While I do despise the current iteration of Thunderbreaker's Thunderbolt, I have decided to indulge in sunk cost fallacy and go all in on the class. With this in mind, and the news of the Neo patch, I have come to the conclusion that farming for arcane river droplets is on a timer, so to speak. Because of this, I'm farming as much as I can in Latchlin and Arcana to stock up on those types of droplets before the inevitable patch hits and removes the ability to suicide to lose the XP. My long-term goal is to save up enough for the 51015, where I can hopefully attempt to 22 star the gloves, boots, and cape, but of course that's all up to luck. I'm not going to spend any meso on other upgrades unless absolutely necessary. And I've set a goal of 150 billion mesos for the next 5, 10, 15 to hopefully accomplish my goals. I doubt I will reach that goal. It'll at least help me keep me from spending meso in preparation for that event. I currently have over 70 billion saved and roughly 550 droplets. Hopefully I'll have enough droplets to purchase at least 8 spare armors for glove, shoe, and cape. In the case I get unlucky, which is always a possibility. I highly doubt I'll gather enough droplets or enough meso, but a man can dream. Also, I chose to start working on a cannon master as my second main. I have in the past stated I wanted to do an Adele as a second main, but I am super indecisive, and taking that into consideration, cannon master just feels right. In the past, I've been hesitant to play this class, especially as heavily as I am now, uh, because a good friend of mine mains it, so it felt awkward to choose it. But after the whole fiasco surrounding Thunderbreaker, I decided to commit. It's currently sitting at level 235, and luckily I've been given carries for each Lucid for potential drops. None have dropped yet, and I've been pretty blessed otherwise though. I've already attained a path mark and flamed it well enough to transpose. Considering all this, I have taken to grinding roughly 4 hours a day. I do a wealth potion before my afternoon classes on a one of my kanas, and after work I do a totem on my cannon master. In addition, the compensation has been granted to us, though they did recently disable claiming flames, honor, and manji coins. For good reason, too. I have footage of myself spending over 7 million honor prior to the announcement of the compensation, and I only received 76 honor medal points after the compensation was given. That equates to roughly 760,000 honor, which is nowhere close to 7 million, so something is definitely wrong. I was also granted over 30 billion mesos in Manji coins from the circulator compensation, and I had close to 12,000 flame points. The flame points equate to roughly 4,000 rainbows, and I did slog through the flaming process and redid my arcanes and CRA gear. While I'm not too happy with any of the results yet, I did make some decent gains, and still have over 2,000 rainbows left to claim. Considering my flames were pretty awful, the gains I got were definitely welcome. I'll probably post an updated gear video soon enough once they re-enable the compensation and I finish flaming. Other than that, I do not have much else to update you on. I'm going to continue farming and working on my Cannon Master, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye